Timber Legend. So we're going to create it with the Nugget Legend tool. And uh, here in the first our lesson, uh, we have created a sample block uh, for the vertical design. Here we have used a door com component, but you can change that to any category you want. So right now we will use uh, windows. Right now I just uh, uh, changed it to the largest window I have in, the, in my project. And the same I have to make changes with, um, with the frame. And uh, let's make uh, just design settings. The design column uh, uh, will be larger than usually because here we have uh, triple windows. So anytime you can modify that sizes of the table um, in any you want because it depends on the components you're trying to show in the legend. That's it. Uh, we are ready to make window legend. So right now I have to go into create edit legend. And here as before, we have parameters. If you want, you can go into select parameters and you can select the parameters you want. And as you see here, we will add row number in the first column. So right now we have to pick a line and select elements that will be added to the right side. As you see, the family and type values are changed the same as it is in my dynamic legend dialog. And after pressing OK, still you can do some modifications and some changes with the design of the table. If it's needed, for example, the count column uh, can be a little bit smaller than others. And we're ready to continue. Let's go into Create Edit Legend again. Uh, let's go into Pick Rows. And again, let's select the line and elements that will be added down. So that's it. We have created Windows Legend. And the tool uh, created the legend for the windows that are used in my project. At the same time, we can rename uh, that legend. So it will be Windows Legend. And we can save that for the future and, and we'll be able to, to add it to the sheets. And still we have a sample block also that can be used for the future.